welcome to my room. It's very Halloween. Let me show you around. This is a quick pan of my room. It has light, light, light gray walls, a celestial wallpaper border that I've had for at least 25 years, and I hate it. <laughs> and my desk, my bed, my back curtains, the black lace with bats on them, as well as the corner where my nurses sit and my partner sits. Okay. So here, as soon as you walk in, there is a Batgirl signed art print that my brother got me, and my little Mariah Carey shrine with her memoir. Get it? Five stars, amazing. And here is some Star Trek Funko Pops and some games and things on the right side. And the left side of the room. As soon as you walk in, is my swirls, and my Star Trek book, and my Star Trek lunchbox, and my mother's finger is in this frame, <laughs> and um, Pikachu, little boxes I have, and some Fox Mulder, Dana Stolly, Mariah Carey, Funko Pops, and some books, and a bunch of other knickknacks and things that I have. To the right of that is my bathroom that has a light green wall paint and of course I have it decorated with Halloween stuff. I mean, come on. I have a little pumpkin bath mat, my black and white curtains, which aren't really Halloween themed, but you know. You get, you work with what you get. And, um, there, this is where I take my bath. And this is a bath chair that I use. It lays flat and kind of like a, a, what is it called? Like a, a bench. And, of course, my bath bombs and everything. Swirl. I love swirls. They're my favorite animal. A little fake candle, and um, I have some lavender from outside, and this little squirrel, a turtle, wrong animal, turtle that my niece got me from in Florida, and my bath products, which is my face wash, um, body powder, and this is the um, black candle holders that I've also had in my bathroom for ages. But I think they're really pretty and they go with um, the room. Of course, we had to have a, a black cat Halloween table mat. And Spock. Spock is everywhere in my room. Also, everywhere in my room are books. And books and books and books. And this is also where I sit sometimes to eat or, you know, chat with my partner. I have my Gigi Jim white sign, which I can't really show on camera because it messes up for some reason. And this is my Halloween terrarium, my fake candle, and these are four paintings that my good friend Raven made, and I went to her channel below. And of course, the books um, are everywhere. <laughs> and this is a Halloween decoration that I absolutely love. It's a Victorian lady, and if you turn, her face changes into a stall, which is amazing. And this is a little hat that I got in a subscription box. And there's a Gigi Jimp again. And these are the books that I'm most interested to read next. I have a lot of Halloween books. I love Ruth Ware. 
Her books are incredible. This is a lamp. This is a calendar. Isn't this exciting? Um, that's Flula. Flula Borg is my favorite comedian. Look him up, he's incredible. And my dresser, um, that looks like luggage. I got that from Peter One Imports. And there's my candy stash. And again, here is Spock. And I got, this is my favorite thing in my room, is my framed, uh, numbered art prints of when he was on a Canadian stamp. He's not Canadian. Um, but these are also signed, uh, things that he sent me when I ordered from his shop when he was still alive. And, of course, these are the books that I've read. I've, I've read, um, all of these. I either, I tend to not keep books if I've already read it, unless I really, really loved them. So these are all the ones that I've read. And maybe one day I will do a bookshelf tour and tell you all about uh, the books. And of course, look at this, this uh, mirror. It has uh, skeletons. This is my desk where I do spend, you know, 90% of my time at. Probably more like 100% of my time. Those are the curtains again. And you guessed it, even more bookshelves. But now I have this draped Halloween thing going on, which again, I love it. And I kind of want to leave it up all year. But that might be strange. I don't know. You tell me. Here's my ventilator that I use at night when I'm sleeping. And my bed. I love this bed spread. And it has very, uh, it's nice. I like it. This lamp has a Halloween lampshade as well as some photos. That's me and my niece some pumpkins, a little black lace table runner, and this uh, plant that my nurse got me from Finland, and that's me and my partner. Isn't that cute? This was sent to me. I'm actually published in this book, and the editor sent me a framed, not framed, a canvas print of one of my quotes. And if you like spiders, I don't either, but they're up there for Halloween. Don't worry, they're fake, of course. Can you imagine having a spider that big in real life? They do it in Australia, apparently, which is why I'm never going to Australia. There's no rhyme or reason to the order of my books, because I just can't do that. And here is a, a clock that I got. And I really, I have to read a lot of these. On top shelf is like mystery, suspense books. Um, I'm excited to read. I've been really into mysteries lately. Probably because it's, you know, fall, Halloween time. And, um, like I said, I'm going to do a bookshelf tour one day and I'll kind of dive into them and in that video. Isn't this a beautiful art print of Spock? Again, Spock. <laughs> I have some action figures and there's more pumpkins and a little card um, and an art print. I have a lot of art prints. Don't I? Here's Mariah Carey. She is everything to me. Not everything, like, you know, I like her a lot. And Spock. Isn't it? Isn't it? Aren't I, like, very predictable? Here's my ventilator again. It doesn't have any of the tubes on it because we were changing them that day. Usually there's, like, blue tubing. 
that attaches to my trach. And here's my blue pillow. Halloween is my favorite holiday, I think, because it's so dothic, and I'm kind of dothic in my heart. <laughs> so, yeah, I love Halloween. I feel like I want to have decorations up all throughout the year, not just October. Thanks for watching the tour of my room. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and also let me know if you also love Halloween. I hope to see you soon. Bye!